Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. Today is July 16th, I think. Um, I was talking to someone earlier today and she said to me, are you ever gonna do a video? So I thought, okay, today's a good day. I don't have a lot to show you because it is summer and I'm doing all kinds of other things. Um, a lot of people visiting. Um, I think I mentioned before, we live in a lake, so a lot of people come visit, which I love. So anyway, but I figured I'd get on here and show you the few th items that I have made um, in the last little while. First thing, we're gonna talk about this because then I need to get it off, it's warm, uh, is this sweater. I'm gonna talk, I'm gonna twirl and then I'll talk about the sweater. So it's this sweater. Yeah, I'm wearing shorts with the sweater. Cool. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is the Gallant Sweater by Kadri. It is a, I think it's pronounced Kadri. It is a paid for pattern. And I wanted to use uh, Lime Brand Woolies Thick and Quick um, and the colorway Hudson Bay. It's my favorite colorway. I just love how this works out. It's great for crochet and knitting. I think it looks great both ways. Anyway, so I started doing the pattern. I wanted a big frumpy sweater, not quite so fitted, um, but that's okay, I'll still wear this. Um, but I didn't realize till much later, and this is where, you know, you gotta do a gauge swatch, which I didn't. You gotta read the pattern through, probably more than once, which I didn't. I just jumped in. Um, the pattern actually calls for a size 15 millimeter needles, and I use size 10. And I kept knitting and going, oh, you know, maybe, maybe the sizing, maybe I should have gone up a size or whatever. No, I used the wrong needles. So I ended up with this. And then the other thing was, I liked, uh, I didn't do the bind off that she requested. I liked the rolling. So I left the sleeves. I did no decreases like she asked. So I just left it like this because I wanted a bit of a, a bigger sleeve. And, uh, and that was a conscious decision. But anyway, I think it turned out really cute. I'm actually, I have, um, so it took me five balls to make this. I believe I have five balls. Uh, I might buy an extra ball just to make, uh, use the correct needles, because I do now have 15 millimeter needles, and I'm thinking of redoing it, but making it like, you know, really maybe a size or two bigger than me so that it's bigger. So I really like this. Now I gotta take it off. Okay, I'll leave the link for this anyway. Hold on. Okay, the second item that I made is another top. And this top is, what did I do with it? It is the Chevron Stripes Three Season Sweater. It, I was on her blog and she had it, I believe it's a free pattern, it was a while ago, but if I find the link, I'll leave it down below. And it's this one. And it's by Esther Chandler. I'm gonna stand back. It's a summer top. Oh, I'm not wearing the correct, well maybe it is, maybe, you know. Anyway, it's really cute, right? And it's a chevron top, and it's made with, I had Cascade Yarn Sarasota, which is 60% cotton, 40% acrylic, and what color is it? Color number four, which is the blue, and then the white, I used Kobu in white. Um, really easy, I do have to say that uh, the pattern was not written I had some issues. I don't, I think it was like a, I don't know if she's gone on to become an, an actual designer. I think she basically just kind of writ, uh, wrote it down as she went along, I think. Um, I was able to figure it out, no problem. But I actually like the way, now the top is, has three quarter length sleeves. And I left it like this. Now, if I'd known, some of the things on the pattern I'd known. So she says to do it this yoke until it meets here. Again, I should have read ahead. And I did, but I thought it was too tight. But I went ahead anyway. But then later on she asked you to add stitches. And I'm like, ah, should have done, I should have stopped earlier. But anyway, I think it looks cute. I think it's really cute and it's very airy, as you can see. And I think it turned out really well. So I think I might actually make this one again, maybe next year in different colors. But uh, I thought it was, it was good. It's a good pattern. Uh, like I said, I had some issues with some parts, the way she wrote, but if I, if I read and reread, it would, 
it, I figured it out. So that's done. Uh, the other thing, I've been practicing, as last time, with my color work hats. And I, just color work in general. And I came across this, uh, it's called Cat-tastic Hat by Christina Ross. Uh, if you can see that. I believe it's a free pattern. I don't think I paid for it. Anyway, I made it. Really cute, right? Now, it looks really cute, but I learned a lot because I can't actually wear this. Even though it's my size, I can't wear it because somebody had mentioned that I should sew the inside, the floats. So there's the floats. I learned that these are too big. The floats are too big. I need to pick up the yarn and make the floats smaller because floats don't stretch. They do not stretch. So I can't even like stretch this over my head. So I learned something. So that's good. Now, the next time I do another color work anything, I will know that it's like, I think from what I've seen, general rule of thumb is like every th three stitches and then you you pick up the yarn to carry it, make a float. But I think it turned out really good for visuals. I think it looks good. And this is just using some acrylic, leftover acrylics just to practice on. Um, and then the next time I make another uh, color work hat, I'll know too. Because the strut, you see how over here there's, the floats are small or shorter because you're changing color more often. Uh, and so there's a lot more stretch here than there is in the body of the cat. There's not very, very much stretch. So that's something I learned. So I'm happy with that. That's all I have done. I have a million and one whips, but if you've been here long enough, you know that I don't show my whips because a lot of times they turn into nothing. They just get frogged and nothing. Um, so I won't do that. But I did have some requests to show some of my bags. Now I'm making these bags for someone but I'm not gonna be able to ship it for a while, so maybe she'll forget by the time I ship it. She doesn't know I'm gonna making them for her anyway, but uh, I wanted to show you. Now, none of these have the drawstrings yet, um, but I just wanted to show you. Some of these are like the ones that I make. Uh, they're all box bottom. Some of them are totes, so they'll have a handle like this, but these one, the ones that I have here are all drawstring. So now all I do is I take pieces of fabric and I try to piece them with as little cutting as possible. So whichever way, like you can see here, obviously this is not a perfect square, and neither is this one, so there's just a slight angle, and I'll show you even better on this one. Here's another one. And so obviously this is a, a piece of triangle, not even a perfect triangle piece of fabric, and I piece these to make fabric, like bigger fabric, and then I make the bags. And so, and a lot of these fabrics were either uh, bought at the secondhand store or donated or stuff like that. Oh, oh, sorry, my doggy. Here. Oscar, come here. Okay, hold on. Okay, hopefully he's quiet. I don't see anybody out there, so anyway. So, a box bottom, um, and they're all, uh, not all, but most of them are have a lining inside to make them a little sturdier. But yeah, so as I was saying, most of these are secondhand fabrics or donated and here's one another one you know and again they're box bottom you know so that's the kind of bags I make and that's obviously these are three different sizes here you can see um, the sizes I don't worry too much because I'm piecing I go until I have fabric and then you know make it I kind of eyeball it the size so I try not to duplicate too much. I don't want to stress over this stuff. Now I can whip one off in no time. So I, what I do is I piece fabric, big pieces of fabric, and when I have enough, then I'll cut out the bag. So I, you know, I play. So that's, that's what I've been up to. Making lots and lots of bags. And like I said, some totes and some drawstring. Uh, anyway, oh yes, and, and if you want to see some other ones, um, there's a, a young woman on here who has a channel and she ordered some bags and I sent them to her and she showed them on her channel and that's Esmeralda and her channel name is God Rocks 
and some numbers I can't but I will leave a link for Esmeralda down below if you want to go check out the bags that she received uh, feel free anyway that's all I have I'm just checking in you know neighbors saying hey <laughs> uh, that's all I have and hopefully I'll try to come back within the next month and show you some of the other stuff that I've been up to anyway I hope everyone's having a wonderful summer and we will talk soon